In this video, I am going to show you three types of digital products which you can easily create, put on some of the platforms, change the life of your students and at the same time generate some passive income for yourself. And we are starting right after this short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and if this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel every Tuesday and Friday. Digital learning is on a rise. Students want to learn at their own pace and whenever they want. You might have noticed that a lot of online courses are being developed each and every day by course creators and this trend is going on and on. No, you don't need a very fancy equipment to create these courses or digital products. There are three types of digital products which uh, are being used as an information products and I'm going to explain these three and where to sell and how to sell. So the first type of digital product is a simple PDF. If you are a teacher or you are subject matter expert in any of the subjects, what you can do is you can create a cheat sheet, a formula sheet or a checklist for any particular topic and then you can sell this PDF on various platforms. This is the simplest digital product you can have. Now how to create this PDF? You can use Word if you are not a LaTeX user. Otherwise, LaTeX is the best way to create a PDF which is of professional quality, which is a high-end product, but it has a learning curve. And I have a lot of tutorials on my channel. Uh, you can watch any of those tutorials. There is also a link to a free webinar in the description of this video. You can enroll for that webinar and within one or two days you will be up and running. So LaTeX is the best way to create PDF, a professional quality PDF, and then you can put this PDF in various ways. One of the method is that if you have a WordPress website, you use a plugin called Easy Digital Downloads. I have used this in the past. It's a wonderful plugin which will give your students an option to download this product once they have purchased it anytime they want. And this plugin will handle most of the things for your PDFs. Another very big platform to put your PDF is called Gumroad. Someone has recently introduced me to this platform, Gumroad. I was not aware of this before. But this is a big platform and you can put your PDF on Gumroad and it has all the functionality for selling and everything and they will take a small commission uh, from your price. So there are few things you might uh, want to consider. If it's a very cheap $5 PDF, uh, you can straight away put on uh, Gumroad or your own website and uh, don't worry too much. But if it's a $1,000 PDF, then you might uh, want to put a watermark or some email address of your customers or, or your students. And for that, you might need a more professional solution. And you can find this easily by searching on Google. There are a lot of companies uh, offering this kind of uh, professional solution where you can put up uh, watermark on, on your PDF. And if you are using LaTeX again, you can put a watermark. No problem. Problem, very easy. So this is the simplest digital product. The second digital product you can create very easily is a podcast. The trend of listening to a podcast is increasing at a rapid rate because listening to a podcast is very easy. You can work and listen to a podcast at the same time. So if you are a subject matter expert on any particular topic or you are a motivational speaker or a trainer, you can record a podcast and put on the platforms. There are a lot of platforms for podcasts where you can put your audio files. Now the third type of digital product is most powerful, which is video, which you are watching right now. This is a digital product. So what you can do is you can record some videos and these videos could be talking head videos where you talk like I'm talking to you or these could be a simple screen capture videos and you can create these videos by using various softwares. Uh, I have a separate video uh, for free software which I use to create online courses. You can watch that video how to uh, create these video products and then you can put these videos on various platforms. Now there are two types of platforms. One are called marketplaces where they will sell your courses. For example, Udemy and Skillshare. You don't have to worry too much about the advertisement or sending traffic to your uh, courses. These are the marketplaces where you have to do nothing. Just upload your videos and that's it. Maybe a thumbnail and a little bit of description. But 
here you will not be able to make a lot of money because from Udemy sometimes I get as low as just one or two dollars for my uh, one copy of my course which is not very good and if you are not happy with the income stream what you can do is you can put your video courses on Teachable and Teachable is a platform where you can put your own prices whatever you want Teachable will sell your courses will host your courses and all the other uh, requirements of the courses for example if somebody returns your course it will handle all your payments and you can put the price whatever you want so one type of courses are these where you record some videos then you add some resources a pdf or some quizzes and assignments and you upload on these platforms whether on udemy or skillshare or teachable and there is another way of taking online courses and which is by using learning management systems and there are a lot of learning management systems out there I mostly use canvas and I have few videos about how to create online courses using canvas uh, in structure which is a learning management system and on these learning management systems you have to figure out how you are going to get the payment and then you enroll your students in your courses and on this platform you can upload videos PDFs quizzes and assignments and some of this process can be automized for example you can put all your questions into a quiz bank and then students whenever they want they can come take a quiz and they will automatically be graded so learning management system is another option of creating online courses putting your digital products there and this is also a fantastic form of digital learning so now the last and very important thing you should consider here is that you cannot simply uh, put anything on these websites and, and start making money. It is not like this. You have to address some problem. Your digital product must address some issue, must solve a problem for your students or for your customers. And this is the first thing you should be focusing on. That what problem my digital product is solving? What problem this online course will address? What are the pain points of your customers and how you are going to address them? And as a result of this, your students must go from point A to point B in their skill level. They must learn something. If they don't learn anything, then it's not good for them, it's not good for you. So it must be a win-win situation for both. Students, they must learn something and you must be able to generate some passive income and don't be ashamed for asking for money because we all need money in order to survive. So therefore, think it this way that you are trying to help the lives of other students who don't know a particular skill you know the skill you are offering your services and they are paying you in return so it's a win-win situation for both parties so i hope that uh, you like this video if so please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching see you next time